What is up, all my beautiful people? I hope you guys are having a great start to your week and happy Monday. As you can see right off the rip, I know this is kind of a different style of video, but I just wanted to try something different as I didn't really have any Monday mail calls come in, but I did have a nice big Monday mail haul. So I wanted to show that off. And as you can see in the background, off up against the wall or whatever, I went to Ollie's and I picked up four Heroclix boosters. So I'm going to unbox these one at a time. So let me know in the comments how you like this kind of format and going through them. So we're going to start off. I have Superman Woman, Wonder Woman featuring Super Boosters. I have Nick Fury Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. featuring the Hulkbuster MK2 Build-A-Figure. And then I have the Incredible Hulk Hulked Out Heroes. And lastly, we have Superman and the Legion of Superheroes featuring the Legion of Doom. And as kind of a bad guy and a villain, I did want to dig into some of the villain stuff. So we're going to start off and we're going to get right into the Superman and Wonder Woman. And I'm going to rip one of these per video and just kind of see how it goes along. And depending on the length, we uh, I will try and add something else. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. So it's been a long time since I unboxed one of these. So let me rip into this. Let me know in the comments how you guys like this. Just trying out something new. I want to get that ripped off. I know this is a different little angle of format, so just trying, like I said, something new, trying to spice it up a little bit. So I know they come with cards, and I already see one character that I'm very, very excited about. So let's get this opened, and then we can go through the cards, and we can go through each of the characters. So is it in order? It is. So we'll start with this guy, get these out. I always remember these being a pain to get in and out of their packaging. There we go. So let's see how well this dude shows up on camera. So we have DC Comics Vartox Police. So uh, looking like a little uh, YMCA right there with his uh, red vest on. So I dig that and he's got his little pulsating uh, energy things. So here's this card that goes with it. Wait, that's not Superman. <laughs> One of his attacks. So that's cool. Once an exterminator, now and forever a hero. That's cool. I was hoping uh, for, like I said, I got the Hulk one. I was going by them by weight. So I was hoping to get uh, some of the bigger ones. I know they have uh, the rarities on the thing. And, uh, it doesn't look like, uh, I have to check when I get to them, but it doesn't look like we got anything crazy. But they're still cool nonetheless. So here's Wonder Woman. Hopefully they're showing up. And here's her card. DC Wonder Woman, Amazon, Justice League, Trinity Warrior. The odds are against me. So that's a dope little figure. You got her flexing out right there. Next we have, let's see, is it in order? It is not. So let me grab here. So we got this guy, looks like a henchman. And we have, oh, he's nice and shiny. We have DC Comics Cold Cast, Brute Justice League Elite. So there's that guy. Yep, just looks like a standard little henchman type dude. Here, I'll put these up back here so you guys can see them. Again, make sure you guys like, subscribe, share, all that kind of fun stuff. I hope you guys are starting off your week on the right foot. And we'll get to these last two figures. Get him out of there. So this one's cool. So it's a steel. Dig that. He's got his hammer right there. Steel, DC Comics, Armor, Metropolis, Scientist, Metal Virus. That's a cool little figure. He's got a big old hammer. And then this last one was definitely my favorite for a lot of reasons. And I'm sure this will probably be your guys' favorite too. We have none other than Power Girl. So DC Comics, Power Girl, Kryptonian, Scientist, Wonder of the World. So that's a nice getting out of focus a little bit. So we all know why we like Wonder Girl, right? Bop, bop, bop. So yeah, let me know, uh, like I said, let me know in these comments how you, how you like the hero clicks. Uh, I might pick some more up and do them some time to time. I did also grab, I know it's going to be hard to see on the camera, but the Coronation Starscream movie Transformers. Like I said, a little hard to see on the camera. Let me know in the comments. I might do a little special unboxing just of him. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. But since this video is still a little shorter, I am going to include, and we'll move these little cards out of the way. Just bear with me. 
I did go to the flea market. So for anybody that's interested in the comics aspect as well, you're going to get some hero clicks and you're going to get some comics. So we're going to start off with, I got all these from the uh, same vendor and uh, I was bargain hunting a little bit. Let me see. Let me fix the lighting just a smidge. There we go. Then we'll kind of turn him a little bit. There we go. Got that Tom Brady, you know, uh, Emerald Twilight Green Lantern. Got him for three bucks. Uh, Love that cover. Didn't have him in my collection. I definitely want to add some more classic Green Lantern. So I absolutely love that cover. It's so sick. He's, you know, rocking all those rings, looking like Tom Brady up in here. And then, unfortunately, it wasn't the polybagged, but as you can see, I got it for six bucks. So I wanted to get some, uh, come on, Barbie, let's go party in my life. First appearance of Barbie in comics, uh, can't really beat it. Cheap prices, so I'll definitely take that all day. Again, I don't resell or anything. Uh, all these go in my PC. And then some random books. I do uh, have a whatnot store that I do uh, list a couple here and there uh, for under eBay prices. And then the rest of these uh, all are run fillers. So I was extremely happy. As you can see, it's a new stand. This is Transformers number two. I talked him down. I got him, got this for 13 bucks actually. And then I kind of bundled the rest of these. And fun fact about this is he actually had the first issue, but I only take so much cash to me when I go to the flea market. So I don't like go overboard. So, um, he's holding issue one for me. And then in two weeks when they have the flea market again, I'm going to go back and snag it. So, uh, I will have issue. I should be almost done with, uh, my issue like one through 10. Uh, after I get a couple more issues and then uh, I'll be able to start reading a good chunk of this. So awesome to have that. And then we got kind of some random ones coming in here. Again, just uh, filling in the run. Want to complete the whole whole uh, run and then uh, start reading the book. We have issue number nine. The lady name is Circuit Breaker. I love all these covers. They're all so dope. And then we jump to Transformers. Game over. Optimus Prime. Got that classic cover on there. And then this one, 26, no job too big or too small, introducing the mechanic. So love that one. That one was $3. But again, I bundled all these uh, these ones together. So I got these for like two or three bucks a piece each. And then we got 31. It's wet. It's wild. It's the car wash of doom. So uh, that one's super dope. I love, love these covers for sure. And then uh, these last two are new stands as well. We have more than meets the eye. Transformers, a Man of Iron. This is issue number thirty-one. Uh, I love that cover with Optimus on there, kind of protecting the human down there. Super dope artwork. And then we have the last one I got, uh, Transformers number seventy-four, which is also a new stand against the horde of Unicron. So yeah, man, I'm going hard for on uh, the Energon universe, Transformers, you know, uh, Void Arrivals. I know, uh, let me know in the comments if you're excited for the new Transformers Daniel Ward Johnson series drop in, if you've been reading Void Rivals, and also if you're excited for the new G.I. Joe uh, series dropping uh, at the beginning of next year. So yeah, man, that's going to be it. Again, let me know how you like the hero clicks, kind of spicing it up. Might try and feature some toys here and there on my channel. Uh, I am kind of a budget toy collector because toy prices are kind of ridiculous for the product that you get sometimes, in my opinion. So I do hit up, you know, flea markets, alleys, stuff like that. So let me know in the comments if you want to check out that Starscream. I'll do a whole unboxing. I'll put it together and uh, hope for the best in that. And other than that, I love you guys to death. I hope you guys have an amazing week. I will catch you Wednesday for another Goblin King Whatnot Wednesday giveaways. We got those rolling out every single week. And then we'll wrap it up in the week with my Friday uh, positivities and shout out. And then dive into the weekend with my Sunday night sesh every Sunday at 6. So please make sure you guys go check out the descriptions for any details about my channel or anything else. And I hope you guys have a beautiful week. And as always, I hope you guys find what you're looking for. Thank you.